Hi, this is Kayla Murphy from The Fabric Garden in Madison, Maine and FabricGarden.com. I've been having a really nice time today doing ruler work demo and I'd like to just share a couple of tips with you. I am working with um, a machine set up for free motion. I've dropped my feed dogs. I'm using a single needle plate. I love the Supreme slider underneath so that my project slides really well. I am using the ruler foot that you would be working with the convertible free motion set. And the ruler foot is a good quarter of an inch thick. The ruler foot will ride on our ruler work rulers, which also are a good quarter inch thick. We're not using our regular rotary cutting rulers. They're too thin. They'll actually slide right under the foot and give your machine a little bit of trouble. So. I'm going to start and I'm going to do simple straight line, which is actually at the, one of the easiest ways to start. I'm going to, um, the idea of ruler work is you want to have your ruler and your fabric become one. I'm going to be using my gloves. I love the Magenas which have good grips on them. I'm going to hold and move as one, nice and smooth. Find the speed on your machine that you like. Um, not too fast, not too slow. So you want to consistently move your fabric. When I use my ruler foot and my ruler and my fabric, I want my ruler and my fabric to be treated as one. I am applying pressure, not crazy, crazy pressure, but I don't want it free floating. I want to have a little bit of pressure on the ruler. The ruler I'm using we sell that has those nice Velcro bottoms so that really helps hold that. But more importantly, I don't want to just slide that foot right down the edge of the ruler. I want to butt into the foot and have some pressure against that foot when I do work. So I'm going to lock it and start sewing and just consistently move. So my speed is the speed I chose or picked that's working for me. Floor your foot pedal and work right to the edge. Now, normally on a project, you'd have to try kind of big project you'd be turning. On ruler work, you can just position your ruler and work up and down, side to side. So as I say, straight edge, very, very easy to do. You're done this edge, lock, 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 hold in place. Now, let's say you wanted to do a curve and I'm gonna work um, on the edge or do a stitch in the ditch. So what I'm going to do is hold that ruler and slide right down the edge. I'd like to show you a curve. Straight edge is obviously the easiest. Curved edges and I'm going to work just a simple curve. I'll make it kind of cute like this. So on curves the idea is you're holding it down again and riding, and I have pressure. I'm, I have, if you can imagine, force from that ruler to the foot. Okay, and curve. So you can create what you like. Now you might see this little curve here that we did. These are other Creative Grids rulers that we use. This is called Slim and it's a tighter curve. So be careful when you do these that you can use a different length markings right in here. When you use a curve, it's a little more difficult. The tighter the curve, the harder it is to work to begin with. So you're holding, guiding, and working around the curve and down. Needle down and continue. So this allows you to create lots of different shapes and sizes. This is a sample that we did with some of the different clamshells, arcs, straight edge rulers, and so on. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and please visit our website at fabricgarden.com or stop in when you're in Madison, Maine. Thanks.